Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Three Proseccos today uh, from the Colalto Winery. Actually, that's wrong. Two Proseccos from the Colalto Winery, uh, plus a sparkling wine uh, made from uh, a different grape uh, from the one that's permitted for Prosecco. Prosecco has to be made from a grape called Glera. Uh, the wine that we're going to try is made from a slightly, well, a slightly unusual grape, but we'll get on to that one at the end. Uh, but let's set into the first two uh, wines, which are regular Prosecco. Actually, not regular Prosecco. Uh, so first one, Prosecco Superiore Conegliano Valdobbiadini uh, Brut. So this way, we're going to do a brute first, and then we're going to do an extra dry. An extra dry sounds like it should be drier than brute, but it doesn't work like that for some reason. Uh, the scale goes extra brute, brute, extra dry, dry. And the one that's labelled dry is uh, the sweetest of those four categories. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't to me either. Anyway, let's try this wine. It smells quite subtle, uh, yeasty, with um, um, apple... Uh, uh, the, the, Maybe you don't see it quite as much as uh, as you did about five ten years ago, but apple foam character. You'd get you'd get these desserts where someone had pureed apple and uh, got it all uh, lots of uh, lots of foamy bits coming out. It smells. Um, it's not one of those uh, proseccos that's jumping out of the glass and saying hello, here I am. There's a subtleness here, and with this apple character to the fore, maybe a little bit of floral hints as well. It's good. It's, it's, uh, I like that. It's on the uh, not uh, extremely dry end of dry. Uh, what you've got is these ripe fruit. You've got that apple character I was talking about. Maybe a little bit more of a pear in there. Uh, and slightly poached pear where they've gone a little bit uh, ever so slightly mushy, but they've still got uh, some bite to them. And that floral character is coming through. And um, yeah, this yeasty roundness. It's not uh, maybe yeasty in the way that... Uh, you get those uh, toasty brioche characters in in in, um, in champagne, but um, yeah, it's got that slight smell of uh, just when when your bread dough uh, when you when you when you you're, you're kneading it and uh, you've just knocked it down after the first time and you can smell some of those uh, fresh yeast characters coming out. It's good. I like that. Yeah, like that. Um, so the next one, uh, that, so we, that was the Brut, uh, which is, in terms of residual sugar, 12 grams per litre of residual sugar. Uh, this next one is the Extra Dry, 17 grams per litre of sugar, and otherwise all the, all the details are pretty much identical. Well, I was saying the first one was had that, that it was quite a subtle flavour. Uh, here again, it's there's, there's a subtlety to it. Sometimes uh, with with prosecco, uh, it really just bounds out of the glass and says, "Here I am. I'm basically um, uh, just a fruity bimbo." Here, uh, there is a little bit of subtlety. There is this um, again the apple character, uh, more maybe on the cooked apple character here, um, and uh, some of that yeasty overtone, more of the floral edge maybe here than than in the previous one. And yes, that ever so slightly caramelised apple, a candied character. Uh, if you imagine a tart tatin, uh, where some of that, uh, some of the bits that stick to the edge when you're making a tart tatin, it's oozed over the side of the pastry and uh, uh, and maybe even over the side of the, uh, the side of the cooking dish, and has caramelised on the, the. Hopefully, if you put a baking sheet underneath that type of character, um, it it is not hugely sweeter than the previous one uh, but um, it just comes across as being softer but still with this subtle side um, and um, again I'm I'm really quite impressed by that I've another, another sip of it nice okay final one is uh, the Colalto Manzoni Moscato Spumante Rose and uh, Manzoni Moscato, uh, it's, a, it's a grape that was developed by a uh, Professor Manzoni uh, by blending um, one of those grapes that you find in uh, the, so the northern Italy. Actually, the whole of Italy has got some weird grapes. Uh, this is one where they've, they've uh, uh, crossed a grape called uh, Roboso uh, with the Muscat of Hamburg, which is the, uh, the, one of the dark members of the Muscat family. So they're both red grapes. Uh, and so what you, uh, I think the goal is to try and find something uh, that uh, is maybe, I don't know, I don't know whether the goal was trying to find something, a red version of Asti Spumante or, or Asti as it's just called now. But uh, anyway, let's try the wine, see where we get to. Well, if the goal was to do something uh, vaguely Astine, for want of a better term, um, they've managed to get a little bit of that a grapey uh, softness and roundness and a little bit of the floral fragrance in there. Uh, it smells like it's going to be um, 
one of those gushing wines. I don't think it's um, uh, as sweet as Asti. I think it's about as sweet as the previous one, about so about 17 grams per litre of sugar. But it smells like it's going to have this alluring softness. And it does. It's got that lovely um, blossom-like character. There's this soft, heady grape character. When those grapes have started to go brown, but they've still got their bite to them, uh, it's got that. Uh, it's got a little bit of um, maybe something citrus-like. I don't know if it's lime or similar character there and rose petals that's the that, that's the the overwhelming thing i'm left with there grapey rose petals it's almost like a um uh, not quite a sparkling gewurztraminer it's not it's not spicy like that but it is gentle soft um but uh, not not out and out sweet it's it's just got that hint of sweetness and i think it, because i don't know if it's got less acidity than the previous one comes across as slightly uh, just yes yeah, slightly more sweet but um still comes across as a really nice juicy friendly wine i could imagine sitting there and drinking a dangerous amount of that so i'm going to go away now and drink a not so dangerous amount of it and um i hope you enjoy those i did uh well done colalto see you soon